Welcome chess friends, to my Stockfish YouTube channel, today I'll share an incredibly brilliant game that will blow your mind, in this match, Mikhail Tal executes daring sacrifices, queen, knight, and rook, all in one game, if he was alive today, he might be a human stockfish, let's get started, Gurjanide started the game with d4, we have knight f6 c4 c5, Benoni defense but Tal could go with qgd, so after d5 e6, you can't push the d-pawn because it can be easily targeted by the knight, and the queen on b6. So after a couple of moves later Mikhail Tal played g6, developing bishop Funetto in kingside, white takes space with e4, bishop g7 and here, very popular move for white is to play h3, to restrict the bishop entry point with this big center pawn structure, bishop e2 castle and after some more developing moves, Tal plant his knight on a6, knight d7 was natural move to consider to get active in the center and the f6 square, rook e1 knight c7. I don't know why Tal places his knight in such an unattractive square, perhaps he was a real human stockfish, a4 b6 queen c2 and we have knight g4, in my opinion, it's an inaccuracy move because white can capture it and prevent any incoming threats, but white, Mikhail Tal's opponent, is not a stockfish subscriber, so he played mistake move h3, in this position can you make a brilliant move for Tal. If you find knight takes f2 then you are absolutely right, here best move for white is to play knight f3, not to capture the knight, so after bishop, takes takes knight takes bishop here backs, takes takes bishop g5, the game would continue like this where both of the side have no advantages, game would be a draw but, here is a twist, king takes knight queen h4 check, the dark square diagonal is exploded and how can white defend his position. If you think of playing g3, let me show you the variation, bishop d4 check king here check, king run away bishop captures pawn, king slides bishop g4 and it will be a checkmate on h3. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things, so back to the position, black moves back his king, bishop d4 to play queen f2 checkmate, knight d1, the only move to protect that square, here, can find the next brilliant move for black, let me give you 5 seconds, 1 2 3 4 5, ok if you find queen f4 then congratulations, you are absolutely fail, knight f3 can block the check and white's position will be very much secure, go and brush your teeth, back to the position. If you find queen takes h3, then you are correct, because black can't capture the queen with pawn as bishop takes h3 will be a crisscross apple so's bishop, pair checkmate, back to the position, Tal is threatening to checkmate in h1 square, which is why, his opponent plays bishop f3 to create some space for the king, queen h2 and this is a threat, here if you play any normal move, let's say, rook to a3, then we will sacrifice the knight on d5, you may be happy after winning the knight. But your happiness will be spoiled after queen h1 check and mate. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, so back to the position, we have knight e3, Mikhail Tal, true stockfish subscriber, strikes in the center with f5, if you capture the pawn then after queen h1 check king ups check, g3 queen check blocks takes rook takes, bishop takes, king takes bishop will expose the king so after king f3 bishop takes f5 queen c3 rook row e8, the position will be quite challenging for white as black can checkmate white in just 6 moves, and chess friends. If you want to play like Tal, then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, back to the position, we have knight c4, pawn takes bishop takes bishop a6 to pin the knight to the king, black is threatening to capture the bishop with rook, so after takes rook e8 will come to use the open e file, knight takes d5 will be devastated as black can lose material on e3 square, white has to play correctly, bishop f3 rook to e5 to double up the rooks on e8 square, rook a3 rook e8. Here best move for white is to play king e2, let me show you the variation, bishop takes check takes queen h6, the position is still in black's favor but white can somehow manage the position if black plays at least one mistake move, oh come on, black is also a human, humans are always engaging in mistakes, but in our actual game, white human played mistake move bishop d2, so knight takes e5, pressuring the knight with three pieces. First of all you can't capture the knight on d5 because of queen g1 check will be a mate, so after bishop takes d5, rook takes d5, 
the knight can't capture the rook because of the same checkmating sequence, so white runs his king on e2, to get a safe place for the king but it's too late too destructive as black captures the piece on c4 with the bishop, black resigned the game because if you dare to capture the bishop, let me show you the variation. Queen takes check king backs and it will be a 209 lo checkmate, so back to the position, if you think of playing king d1, then after rook takes e8 rook takes e3, check blocks queen f2, the queen can't capture it because of this, so after king c1 we will face another brilliant move bishop b3 to target the queen, first of all if you capture the bishop then after queen takes check here takes, black will be rook up and he will win the game completely. So back to the position, if you dare to save the queen with queen c3 then after queen takes e1, sacrificing the queen, takes rook d1 will be a check and mate in Mikhail Tal's style. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.